Hello, Mr. Mendonas here. Today I'd like to show you how to create a light box for your Bootstrap website. So let me begin by showing you how it looks when you are done. Okay, so here's an example. We have 12 thumbnails. And if you click on any of the thumbnails, the light box appears, dimming the background. When you hover over to the right, you can see the arrow saying it that there are more pictures to scroll through. Same with the left. You will have a place for your captions, uh, how many pictures there are and which picture you're on, and then you have the X to get out of the light box. <coughs> and also you can exit the light box by clicking in the dimmed area. And you can see the transitions from the different picture sizes and the transition from picture to picture with the fade out and fade in. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, this demonstration is for a bootstrap website. So first thing you're going to want to do is search for Lightbox2 and click on the first link you see. We're going to download this file. You're going to open it up and you're going to take the CSS, lightbox.css file. You're going to copy that and you're going to stick it in your workspace. So for me, my workspace is. here and as you can see I already have lightbox.css so I'm not going to paste it in there and then uh, let's open up the let's open a new tab and go back to my downloads lightbox which I downloaded a bunch of times already uh, then we're going to download this file right here lightbox.min.js and you're going to go back to your workspace go into your JS folder and paste it in here also which again I already have lightbox.min.js and then finally you're gonna want to go to the IMG folder from the lightbox file you just downloaded copy all these these are the uh, buttons that you're going to use for your light box. So if you remember during the example, there was the X to cross out. This is a loading screen when you go from picture to picture, and then you have the right or the next button and the previous button. So copy these, go into your IMG folder, and paste them right in there. Okay, so let me also point out that you should have your pictures ready as you go through this tutorial. In this example, I kept my pictures in a folder called pics within my IMG folder, and then I just have them labeled, labeled 1 through 12.jpg. Okay, so let's continue. <clears throat> so you should have a new HTML file opened. I call this one lightbox example.html and I already have the basic HTML tags in. I also connected the bootstrap.css file, the lightbox.css uh, file that we just downloaded. I have the jQuery from uh, Google's library. I have the bootstrap uh, JavaScript file uh, connected and I also have the lightbox JavaScript file that we just downloaded connected already also. So go ahead and do that. Now, so we'll, of course, so we'll start by sticking in a container. And within the container, let's go ahead and give this a title. So we'll do h1 and we'll do 
light box example. I will save it. Um, we'll look at our live uh, preview I'm using brackets. So whenever you save, your preview updates automatically, which I have over here. And there we go. Yep, there we go. So the blue just indicates what's new. Okay, good. So let's move on. Let's create a new div and we'll call this one, we'll give it a class of gallery, I should say. We're going to do a row of four thumbnails, as you saw in the example I showed at the beginning of this tutorial. And as you know, in Bootstrap, there are 12 columns. So for the first thumbnail, we'll use up three of the 12 columns. So what we're going to do now is stick the link to the picture that we want to see. So we'll do img slash pics and then one, the first one, one dot jpeg. There we go. Now, within the a tag, we want to give a attribute called data title. And here is where you'll put your caption. So we'll do my first caption. The next attribute you want to use is data slash lightbox. And for the set of pictures, that you are going to have in the same light box, you're going to want to give it all the same name. So as you saw, a lot of those pictures were um, taken in Puerto Rico. So I will call this data light box vacation. So any picture I have with a data light box uh, called vacation will be in the same carousel of pictures. If I had wanted two separate light boxes on the same website, well then I would use two different uh, names for the data light box. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is stick in the picture that we're gonna use. So IMG SRC equals And then again, the pictures I kept in IMG, pics, and we want the same picture. And what this image is, is going to be our thumbnail. So we want our thumbnail to be small. So I'm going to give it a width of 200 pixels. Let's see what we have so far. So let me close the image tag, save it, and there we go. So again, the blue just indicates it's something new. Uh, and there's our thumbnail. Now what we could do is stick in class equals img-thumbnail and Bootstrap will give it a border indicating that it is a thumbnail. So see the gray border? Uh, you could also do round. Save that. Rounded, I mean. And there you go, see the corners are a little rounded. Or you could actually do circle. C 
to do that. And then boom, the thumbnail is now a circle. So to each their own, I'm going to stick with thumbnail. Save that. And there we go. And just for organizational purposes, we move the image tag down there and bring the A down there. That way it just looks cleaner. Okay, so now that we have the first thumbnail, what we're going to do is copy this whole div. And remember, there's uh, this one div is taking up three columns uh, because we want four uh, images in one row. And again, Bootstrap has 12 columns per row. So I'm going to paste this once, twice, three times. And that way, all four of these will take up the entire row. And of course, what we're going to have to do is update it so that there are different pictures. I'll change that to two. I'll change this to my second caption and change this one to two, and so on and so forth. Save it. And there we go. Here's our four thumbnails. Oh, and we have the light box working. Hmm. Look at that. Bingo, bango, bongo. You can see the captions, you can see the X. Alrighty. Okay. So if you recall from the first example I showed you, at the very beginning of the tutorial, we had three rows. So the easiest thing to do to make a new row is copy your first row. Um, before you paste a new row in, it might be a good idea to just leave a comment saying this is where row one ends. And then paste your new row. And then there you can say this is where row two ends. and then the third row. And again, just comment to mark that this is where row three ends. And of course I should write three ends. Save it. And let's change these pictures. So this is where row one ends. So this is how I know to change these to the next set of pictures, five, five, I spell 12. 12. Is there enough in there? I think there's enough in there. Save it. Refresh. Oh, there we go. Good. Looks good. Looks good. Using the arrows. So you can, other than clicking on the X and previous button, you can use the right and left arrow from your keyboard. You can also hit escape to get out of it. <clears throat> there you go. Now you may notice that you have these vertical pictures that kind of mess up the flow of your row. So there's a way to make adjustments to make it look cleaner. 
Uh, what you could do is, I think that is the, okay, so this is four, five, six, the seventh picture and the last picture. So let's mess with those seven. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is change the width of the seventh and last picture. Save it. Okay, and there we go. Get rid of that blue. Okay, so now you see that each pic, each vertical picture is now uh, the same height as everyone else in the row, everything else in the row. But it still looks kind of off because we uh, we have this off to the left a little bit in its column. So what we could do is since we gave it a width of 100, uh, we could give it a margin of 50. That way you'll have a margin of 50, then the thumbnail will start for another 100, and then uh, the right side will have a margin of 50 because of what's left over. So you have 50 plus 100, which is 150, and then another 50, so 200 total. And that way the thumbnail will be in the center. So we'll go right after the 100 pixels, we'll type in style equals margin dash left. Set that to 50 pixels. And we'll do the same thing for the last one. So I'll copy that and paste it right there. And there you go, it's in the center. Hit refresh to get rid of that blow. And there we go. So now it looks a lot cleaner. And that's your light box. Hope you enjoyed, learned a lot. If you did, please leave a comment, rate, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you.